Hello again, it's Priscilla Patel in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the backyard. And I have in front of you an 18 by 24 inch canvas. And I have beside me some color I have to use up that was beautiful in my last painting. And that mark will help. Um, and some acetate cards, which I intend on using to just pull paint. And uh, they may or may not be geometrics, but um, I'm going to call it color blocking. I might use some chain and I will definitely start with something that I like and pull some paint to, right out of the gate. I am not using a base coat, not yet anyway. I am going to dip my card right across, pull a little paint, push it down, see how far I can make it go. Use the residuals. If I use the edge of the card, a lot of times I can move paint into position. And since this is definitely just abstract expressionist artwork, if it doesn't really go very well, that's okay too. Because I will just fill in with something else. I don't know how long this will take me. It could take a while or it could take not much time at all. Depends on how it goes. I am going to use the residual on my card on the edge of my canvas because I don't have a lot of that paint and I want to make sure I take advantage of everything that I do have. No matter what I start with on this with this larger card, I'm going to probably use smaller cards to add some interest and fill in. Now I use white because I know it's a catalyst for cells. with other colors. So the residual from my card will make not only other colors mixed with the white, but will also make some cells maybe. I'm getting ready for smaller cards or moving to another part of the canvas. Because it's 18 by 24, I'm not used to, and I'm just beginning to learn how much paint to attempt to put on, to use, plus I need a break! I need a break on my turntable because it's turning because of the pressure I'm putting on it. But I'm probably just going to use that happy accident to um, to pull some other paint. Now I've got that white on there. I just want some paint to come out of you. Thank you. <laughs> and I'm still playing with combinations. So I'm going to continue to play with some combinations if I can get the paint to come out. There we go. And I don't usually put so many colors in but I kind of feel like playing is the order of the day. I don't promise they're going to stay geometrics. I may just decide to swing something right around in an arc. I am still getting used to all of this, so Short of putting the paint right on the card, actually I'm going to let that go right over the edge on the acetate. I'm just going to keep moving it. However, it seems to work at the moment. Even if they are not particularly uniform, Markings. Whoa, almost dumped my bottle over. And I'm just playing with colors that I like. Nothing more. 
and just giving myself permission to play with colors I like and knock it off on the edge. These paintings could very specifically need frames, but if I can avoid it, that's okay too, because I'm not a big fan of spending a lot of money on frames. A long time ago, I had four things framed, and I had the money at the time. It's good, because it was $400, <laughs> and I was like, wow, I better think about this. <laughs> I don't mean to be rude to framers, but darn, I really like the advent of <laughs> painted sides on, on canvases a lot. Now, the reason I don't panic about what's coming next is because I have a lot of really beautiful colors. And I also wanted to play with my spatula and see if I can herd paint and what will happen if I do. I've got some nice cells happening over there. I've got 10 minutes left. I kind of expect to run out of time. I don't mind the idea of using my spatula or some other colors without any anything, any plan, let's say. I'm just going to let that go right down over the edge again. And uh, it doesn't have to be just acetate, of course. And I have a Princeton Art Tool Cattle spatula, and I'm sure quite a few of you do. <laughs> Pretty sure quite a few of you do. Oh, it would be just so nice. Yes, it would. I know it will come out eventually. <laughs> but I can't help but want it to come out when I want it to come out. What can I say? So let me find a new-ish or a piece of plastic with stuff on it I don't mind. What else? What else? I want. I want to find out what these two things do together. Very much, in fact. And, not only that, I love, yes I do, I love the neon pink. So I'm going to go over here again. I think I might just tempt, I'm tempted to turn the card over, so that's what I'm going to do. And then, I'm going to use the edge of it, just to straighten up that line a little bit. Not that that should be important. <laughs> But sometimes it is anyway. I have lighter pink. I have that purple. Yes, I have that purple, but it will not come out. Come out. Please come out. I know some of you guys think I have patience. <laughs> I don't know where you got that idea. <laughs> I really don't. Right, I didn't get that much of that. And i got to quit putting my bottles in front of me because I can't spin the turntable with the bottles in front of me. Alright, so that's alright. I want something bright over here. I want something white over here. If I use enough white... Maybe I can go back in the other direction. I am leaving all kinds of things that should not be in front of me, in front of me. I love pulling colors and combining them and seeing what kind of thing, colors, other colors they make. I know it's been a thing for a long time with acrylic pouring that I, you know, everybody's like, I don't want to make mud, but if you just figure out that orange and yellow and pink and things of a similar nature I have no expert advice. I'm sorry I, <laughs> I shouldn't be giving it. But if you use colors of a similar nature, and you know from past experience that when you cross them over each other that they work well, then that's a good time to try that. I haven't used any of my most fun turquoise, and I see all that stuff in there. But if 
I stand my card up. That just makes me want to pour it down. Whether it's going to pour in a straight line or not, I don't know. And whether other things are going to pour or not, I don't know either. But I do have a fondness for those abstract artists that leave drips in their work, so this is kind of fun for the moment. All right, what do I have? I have great colors on a card, and I can drag it more than once, and I can use those colors up. I love that pink. It makes me happy every time I see it. I didn't realize how much I was going to love it. I didn't use it for a long time. I think I really want to steal some of this blue to make a little something something over there. And I like this white right there. I don't know what I'm going to get out of it. I'm going to push it back up. I hope you guys can see most of this. You might not be able to see all of it, that's for sure. I have a paler yellow, and I think that that's what goes in here, along with that white and maybe a little bit of that pink also. So I'm going to push that up. And that's good. I'm having a good time, and I've got five minutes left. I'm rocking this thing. Cool. <laughs> I don't know what to do about that. <laughs> I like it. But I want to change it. And if I put that yellow in there, it's going to make green. So let's make some green. Let's not just make some green. Let's play with some green. That is a green gold from Folk Art color shift. Color shift meaning when the light hits it, it changes. And you wouldn't necessarily think you could add pouring mediums to it, but I have GAC 800 and DecoArt pouring medium and Floetrol in all of my paints. And even if I was inclined to do this with different paints, I have these paints. So these are the ones I'm going to use. And I might as well share my technique with you because there's going to come a point in time when maybe you've poured your last dirty, dirty pour, even though they're fabulous, and you want to do something different. I'm here to tell you that you can. It doesn't matter if coverage isn't perfect. It's definitely an abstract expressionist piece. I want to use that paint before it gets completely set up. Just rolling my skewer sideways. Oh, I just swallowed my paint. Darn. <laughs> okay, well, just playing in paint. Let me give it one more go. Maybe this time I won't let it all be gone. That makes me want some of my color shift blue. Maybe it's a color shift blue, we're not sure where this wonderful color came from. I'm so sorry to be the bearer of that, that news, i got to say. Because it came out of a bottle that was the same as some other, that said it was the same as some others, but um, it's a fantastic color and I can't seem to uh, repeat it. So let's see what happens when we're just moving paint with a skewer getting all new textures and color combinations that are not, I mean I do have some cells over here so I can't say they're not cells because they are. That makes me want, inspires me to use some more Prussian blue because I like to move the eye around in, inside my composition and even though it's a fairly natural occurrence for me you got to know that your eye will jump back and forth between dark spaces. As much as I like this, I like this even more. Ooh, I've got paint on my spatula. What will I do? <laughs> I think I'll just knock it off and use it and use it again. 
and blow it into place. Hopefully you can see that. I'm just having a good time. I recommend a good time to everybody. What else can I put in there? I have that new, yes, new light blue, like I said, made of a little bit of neon from Dick Blick. did that all to cover this and then it turned into something else and that was fun and now I'm just gonna use my finger to let it all go over the edge in whatever combination it wants because the color shift will change everything every other paint it touches it will change it can't really do that because I don't have any white paint on there but I was kind of enjoying doing it until I realized that I couldn't so I'll just do it over here where I can because I can the name of my book on the Amazon link it's in paperback now gosh I hope this comes out okay I'd like some white not only would I like some white, I'd like some other things in the center of that white. And I'm very tempted to just go ahead, because it's large, and use one of my OXO omelet turning spatulas. Now I have that. Oh, now I have two minutes left before I am going to go and come back again, because <laughs> this is not going to be that quick. I kind of want some black in there, and I haven't given myself permission to use any black yet at all. I also haven't used any basting brushes. I think that'll be kind of cool. Thing to try. Yes, I'm good with that. So I want some white over here to clean my basting brush off with. Yes, where? <laughs> right here. And I want to kind of pull that first. Whoops. I'm feeling a little rushed because I don't want to miss up, miss my opportunity to tell you guys stuff, but I want to keep painting so bad that I just, I'm not capable right now of doing both. That was a lot muddier than I expected it to be. I think it's because of the black and the white. So I'm not going to worry about that right now. I am going to notice that I didn't mind the gold. Really? Now I'm knocking stuff over. Okay, that's good. Right there. Very good. I'm going to grab one of my little cards and throw my basting brush in the bucket. And I'm thinking that I'm probably going to wind up cleaning a couple of tools before I come back again. They don't have... The sun is out again, and uh, it's getting to be a hot day. Fortunately, there isn't any white paint on the canvas. Whoops. To dry out, just the paint that's on the canvas will dry out. I wonder what will happen. Yep, I will see you guys. And I'll have to try and remember to set the timer. See you guys in the next video. Check out the end screens. They'll take you to 400, excuse me, 500 other videos. And uh, my website, which has uh, an Instagram link, as well as Pinterest is on the bottom of the description, and the paint pouring recipe is underneath. And I love you guys. Thanks for everything so far. Keep Keeps me painting. Appreciate that so much. Yes, I do. And um, we're just having fun with color blocks. We'll be right back. Priscilla out. Bye for now.